Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course on the Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very sincere and warm welcome from me. If you remember well, in the previous session we prepared the group section and now we are able to make and delete a group in the admin of our site. And in this section, session, we are going to deal with another part of our equilibrium. We are going to see to which groups do the registered users belong. First, we are going to see if they belong to any special group or not. And then we can add them to certain groups with certain permissions. First, we are going to work with groups. We learn to make and delete the groups. Right now, our group has no permission inside it, but we are going to give our group some permissions. Right now, we have made a test group. Uh, we are going to see if the user who registers belongs to the test group or not. And then we are going to add it to the test group. And then both in the view and in the template, we are going to check if the user is in our group or not and if he is allowed to be there first i exit make a new account a new user account the usual account and not the super user user demo the username would be demo email would be demo at gmail.com the past needs to be a strong one because we have said uh, certain strict conditions which he said a strong password and he agreed to terms and conditions and then make the account now I log in in the main admin and now uh, not in the account that I just made we just wanted to have a user present there here my user demo has been made here I want to change the edit button to group so that when I hit it, I will be directed to the list where my groups are. Okay, now let's see here I go to the list and over here instead of edit, I say groups. Okay, yep that's for the name of the buttons here it is group it is ready and now we need to make it a function so that it goes to a page where i will be able to see the groups at first i need to make the function so i need to go to the manager app and from the manager app make a new function make a copy here and then I say manager for instance I change the name user groups now we don't want it to do anything special we don't want to send anything to template and we name it users group okay and now groups.html and now I make the page. Let's see. We add some A's to see if it works well or not. Okay. Let's see if it does. And then I go to manager list and set the URL here as well. That's it. Well, and I need to send the user pk first. So pk equals cc. .pk. Okay. I send the pk to know which groups pk I want to see. I copy the pk. All right, here I said HTML wrongly. I set the user group. 
okay the name of the function and then it goes to this page and then I need to get the PK so that based on PK I know which user it is okay that's how I recognize the user through the PK I copy this URL panel manager for instance group show with PK and then we use users groups okay and that's it now we test it we are under we are doing well so far we are connected to this page now I need to make the page and for instance from group template that's it I use this part from the template and now save it okay here I say user groups okay here it would be user groups the address needs to be changed it would be panel manager the group is all right here it would be user groups and in the manager list we forgot to change this part groups here here it would be side and that's for the aesthetics of the site it has nothing special to do with the generalities it only makes the site more beautiful now we don't deal with the upper section of the site we are going to set the ad member to group section here but right now we are going to show the groups that the user is a member of on a list here I have PK first I need to based on PK get the users username all right let's see if you are in the app yeah we are in the manager app we say manager equals manager dot objects dot get based on PK equals PK right I said a print I say print manager right manager dot u t x t now I refresh the page the demo will be printed just like that all right now I want to extract the users groups if I want to show the groups of the users I set a for ring I say for I in request dot user dot groups dot r all right okay then I say print we print it I dot name now I want to see the groups that are attached to I there are no groups right now available that are attached to I and here if I add and save the test group over here by refreshing the page as you see the test would be seen over here or the groups of which I am a member All right now instead of request start user we need to set the user's username we say uh, we said uh, we but we can just say manager dot u t x t okay now let's check it out as you see it gave me an error we cannot set manager dot t x t instead of that user because it is a string field of my model first I need to find uh, the user and then I say user equals the user model dot objects dot user model dot objects dot get 
okay and is that right based on what uh, based on username the username field equals manager dot u t x t okay now I comment this part I print this I want to see if it works well or not here it needs to give the name of the user to me uh, which is demo it gave me the user's name okay now over here here I say user.group.i now it should give me the users of this group as you see now there are no groups for this user here in the demo I add a test group to it and if I refresh the page as you see the test group has been added so we just need to here save I dot name in an array and then send it to the template one of the simplest methods okay that would be as I said one of the simplest methods that we could use say group equal an empty array and then here I remove these and I say I can put it in two ways I can set a dot append or plus equal dot append what should it append I dot name and then I send a group to template okay so here if you have paid attention you notice here you are not able to give the username txt for finding the groups we need to call it in the user the uh, in the user query and then using the user query get the data and here in the user group we say in the foreign cc in group group is okay and show cc now it gives me the test all right now as you see it is showing the groups of which the user is a member of i can go to the demo app to the admin and get the group from the demo app in this fashion save it and then refresh and as you see this group is deleted and i will not be able to see the groups of the users now all right up to here using the simple foring and the very simple array that we used here we extracted the groups to which the user belong and show them on a list and on the next step we are going to do some more stuff first we need to add the user in the group here uh, for the test i needed to do it in django but we want to do it from here here i want to see the list of the group so that i can add the user and delete him from the list of the groups uh, we want to do this so that we can make the groups to the admin and the add and delete and then add and delete the users and on the next level we are going to uh, check on the setting and see if a user is a super user or a usual one if not you will not be able to see the settings button over here and we are going to apply it in the view so that the user might not uh, intend to hit uh, of course the user might not intend to hit the settings button uh, we need to check in the view and see if he is a member of the group and thereby is allowed to do this task or not we need to do that until the group section is complete then we are going to deal with the permissions where we can define permissions give the user permissions and see certain permissions on our site list both in the template and in the view we teach you all of these 
uh, but you may not have to use all of them in your site you may only need to use either the group or the permission but anyways we are going to teach you that for educational purposes and later on based on your certain project you can choose from them